Um, hi guys, this is just another quick, hopefully quick tutorial on After Effects. Um, as you can see it's quite late, so I'm trying to do this quietly. Um, Sam, don't laugh. But today we're doing a custom shadow map. But as you can see, we're doing it with Superman logo, but you can do this with text, um, pictures, images, moving footage, so on. But anyway, this is basically what we're going to be creating. It's just place. There we go, so it's quite quick. Um, but yeah, so you just want to say file, new, new project, um, then we'll go new comp, doesn't matter, I'm just going to use my default. Um, then I'm going to import my Superman logo, drop it in here. I'm just going to scale it up to the full size of my comp, because otherwise when we do the channel map, it's going to cut off here, so it's going to look a bit weird if it's halfway through. I'm going to make a new solid, and it's going to be black on it. And you're going to go effect, noise and grain, fractal noise. Um, and I'll just pump the contrast up a bit, and then bring the scale down that you just get a bit more scale so that your pieces are smaller. Um, then you want to go to effect, color correction, colorama, and we'll do this. And then in the output cycle for this to work you need to click around the perimeter and then just add a black. You can kind of just adjust these to try kind of randomize the pieces. Um, then you want to hit control alt C I think it is. No, control shift C. Yeah, it's control shift C and then just a move all attributes so that you've got a pre comp move underneath. Um, then on this on your Superman layer just hit the um, sorry, effect simulation and then you've got shatter down here which is a pre done one. Um just switch this layer off there, you can switch the bottom layer off that you can see what you're doing. Then go into shape, change it from box to custom and then this is custom shadow map to the black solid. So you'll see loads of little pieces. Change the extrusion depth to 0.01. Um, so that's great. Then what you want to do is you want to take force one, take position, put it in the top corner. You've got force two, put the radius in of 0.4, and then put its position over here. And then you want to hit position of both of these. So we're going to do ours over one second. You can do it over whatever time you want. Then take each point and put it at the opposite end to the other point. So you get this kind of swash mo movement. So that will come and do that. I'm going to switch to half res so this goes a bit faster for me. Um, then you want to change from wireframe plus forces to rendered. And then, uh, so now it's going to look a bit blurry on my screen because it's on half res. But in theory, technically, we are done. Um, you can do this with an actor on a green screen. Um, you can do this with text. You can do this with just about anything. Um, you can go into your pre-comp and then just play with the output cycle on the Karama to edit these shapes. But otherwise, you're pretty much done. Um, and this was basically inspired by, I can't remember the name of the music video, but it's one of the, it's near the end of one of the cold play music videos. I've got a feeling it starts with a P, but I can't for the life of me remember at half past 12. But if I just, I'll get it to one second, of, because otherwise it will be here for a while. But there we go. Um, so yeah. So we are done, basically. So you can do that with text. Um, you can do is you can copy this effect idea. Sorry, you can copy this effect and then actually composition pre comp, uh, sorry, layer pre comp, move and then paste them and go in here, delete that, and then we should actually be able to. Actually, I'll do that as a separate tutorial, but I'll do a method on how you can just swap anything in, any item in, and we'll just do it automatically. Um, but yeah, otherwise that's it. I'll actually just undo what I've just done, that we get our Superman logo back in there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. Just render on full. You can render this as a GIF, um, so you can put this on a website. Um, so you can do pretty much anything with it. Um, but what I haven't shown you is how to render. 
So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So click on Scope Composition and then Add to Render Cube. Then this is where where it puts the file. And then here, where it says Output Model, you can select. So you can say, okay, I want it to be a DVD. I want it to be just a video for Windows. I want it to be a, a GIF. I want it to be an FLV for YouTube. Um, so you can select from some of the many. And then once you're just done, you just hit Render, and then the bar will go. And then voila, you've got your video file. So you can upload this to YouTube. You can put this on your demo reel. So um, render yours out, and then post them as a video response to my video. Um, do it with as many objects as possible and maybe try it with a green screen. I'll be doing a green screen tutorial in the near future on how to key a green screen well without kind of screwing up your actor and then what kind of things you can do with a green screen. I don't have a green screen so I'll probably be doing it with other footage or just a picture. Otherwise that's it, pretty much. That's it. Okay, good, good night, good day, whatever. Bye.